Bolton's new book is called From Pain to Power. She also has an upcoming event that will be powerful. Tina with her and another special guest this morning. Good morning. Yeah, we saw Ruthie earlier doing her push ups. We got Elaine Whitefeather here, Community for Peace. You got a big event coming up on Friday, Friday night. Evening. Yes. And it is called Celebration of Hope. Celebration of Hope. And yes. Ruthie, you're the keynote speaker. What is the um, relationship here for this? Why are you the keynote speaker? Um, just because, um, fortunately, I experienced domestic violence, and um, and after meeting this young lady here and l realizing what they do, I just mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's uh, it's a perfect fit, and I really want to encourage these women to help turn their pain to power and give them some hope. And it, I've been to the facility, and this is an awesome atmosphere, and I'm just really, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm part of their team now to help them push this endeavor. Hey, Elaine, some people don't know about your organization. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. So, Community for Peace is the third uh, domestic violence sexual assault. Uh, agency here in Sacramento County. Uh, we were formed in uh, 2008, mm -hmm. and so we're getting ready to come on our 10th year anniversary. We're a first service um, organization, but I would characterize this as more of a transformative justice center. So if you think about our agency, we're 80% survivors. We're credible messengers, okay. and this is how we came across Ruthie. Um, our, our event every year is not just about um, Honoring the survivor's story, but it's also about honoring all of our community partners who help us along the way. Mm -hmm. And today, more than any time, I think we should be celebrating hope. Ruthie, when you, since you put out your book, have people come up to you and talk to you about their own experiences? Oh yeah, I, and I, I hear stories much worse than mine. But to me, to be able to be a vehicle, a lot of women have told me, "Thank you for giving me closure. Thank you for being transparent. Thank you for giving me hope." And so it means a lot to, to be able to be a, a vehicle to really help these women smile again, yeah. to, to bring closure and, and give them courage to really spread their wings and, 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 and fly. I know you come from a big family, which I've met many of them mm -hmm. in the past. Uh, they've helped you along the way. You have a lot of community support, plus you have your athletics mm -hmm. to keep you strong. But some women don't. They turn to you. Yes. How can they get a hold of you if they're watching right now? Well, our crisis line is 24-7, so that's 728-7210. But we're available 24-7, um, really we are, and we're, we're always there at our office hours okay. um, during the week. But I, I want to stress one really important thing just very quickly. Being a survivor is probably the strongest part of who we are as women. But I also think that there, this is an issue where Ruthie... Um, represents the hope that happens on the other side of something. I always want women to understand and everyone to understand our darkness is not where we end up. This is where we end up. All right. So again, this Friday night, tickets still on sale? They are available. Yes. Go to our website. There you go. There's the information for you again. This Friday night, starting at 6 o'clock at the Citrus Heights Community Center. Thank you, ladies, for Thank being here and sharing. Good to see you. Thank you. 20 push-ups on my star. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. We've known each other for a very, very, <laughs> very long time. <laughs> Next time your family is here, I want to sing with the National Anthem with them. Yes. Yes. How about that? Totally. Okay. <laughs> All right. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Still ahead this morning. How